If you have a big project to work on, the following is really useful. Go to your media page. Navigate to your footage that you want to use. In this case, I have downloaded project files created by Black Magic Design as part of their training material. Select the clips you want to add to your project's media pool and either drag and drop or right click on a file or folder and choose Add to Media Pool. Now you should have the clips imported into your project. Go to the top right hand side and click Metadata, this will bring up the Metadata panel. Select a clip to see specific metadata associated with it. You can click on any of these fields and edit the metadata as required. Using the Keywords field you can add a keyword for searching later. For example, I have selected these three clips. Go to the metadata panel and type in interview and click save. Go back to your bins panel, go to smart bins and click the expand arrow next to keywords. You will now find interview as a smart bin and all the items you tagged with that keyword. Go to your master bin view and click the magnifying glass to bring up the search field. Select filter by all. Search for your keyword, in this case interview. You will again find your three clips you previously tagged. Finally, you can create a logging file associated with your project. Simply add the title of the clip into the appropriate metadata field. The CSV file I'm using is provided in the project files by Blackmagic Design, but you could create your own for your project. I have added a new column called Keywords, which is the exact name of the metadata field. I have saved and updated the file in Excel. Go to File, then Import Metadata to, then select Media Pool. Select the file from its saved location. Use Match Using File Name as there is nothing else to match within the CSV file. Click OK. You'll get a dialog advising import successful. Look at the inspector for each file you will see the updated keyword. Note, if you have multiple keywords to store against a single item in your list, you can comma separate the value within the spreadsheet and it will treat that as two different keywords and apply them to your clips as appropriate. If you thought this sounded a bit like Lazy Artist, you'd be right, I have ripped off his style, mostly cause my voiceovers are rubbish. Please go and visit their page, link is in the description, as it's significantly more interesting than mine. But please subscribe first for more tips on DaVinci Resolve.